you know, when I set out to help someone, uh, it is my intention to do just that. I'm not trying to do anything other than meet somebody at their humanity. Like, uh, case in point, this one time, I remember I was, maybe it was about 17 years ago, I rented this building and we were using it for production. And I was walking to my car one day and I see this woman coming up out of the corner of my eye and I say, mm, she's homeless, let me give her some money. Judgment, I wish I had time to talk about judgment. Anyway, I reach in my pocket and I'm about to give her the money. She says, excuse me, sir, do you have any shoes? It stopped me cold because I remember being homeless and having one pair of shoes and they were bent over at the heels. So I was like, yeah. So I took her into, into the studio. She was hesitant to go in, but we went in. We go to wardrobe and there are all these boxes and everything around the walls and fabrics and racks of clothes. So we ended up having to stand in the middle of the floor. So as we're standing there, we, I, wardrobe, we find some shoes, we help her put them on, I stand up. I'm waiting for her to look up. And all this time she's looking down. She finally looks up, she's got tears in her eyes. She said, thank you, Jesus my feet are off the ground. In that moment, I, I just I, I recall her saying to me, I thought you would hate me for asking. I'm like, how can I hate you when I used to be you? How can I hate you when I had a mother who grew up in a Jim Crow South in Louisiana, a rural Louisiana, right across the border from Mississippi, who at nine or 10 years old was grieving the death of Emmett Till. As she got a little bit older, she was grieving the death of the civil rights boys and the, the little girls who were in the bombing in Alabama. She grieved all, this, all these years. And I remember being a little boy and coming home and she was at home like, what are you doing at home? You're supposed to be at work. She was in tears that day. She said there was a bomb threat and she couldn't believe that someone wanted to blow up this place where she worked, where she took care of all these toddlers. It was the Jewish Community Center. My mother taught me to refuse hate. She taught me to refuse blanket judgment. And in this time, and with uh, all of the internet and social media and algorithms and everything that wants us to think a certain way, the 24-hour news cycle, it is my hope that all of us would teach our kids, and not only to remember, just refuse hate. Don't hate anybody. I, I refuse to hate someone because they are Mexican or because they are black or white or LBGTQ. I refuse to hate someone because they are a police officer. I refuse to hate someone because they are Asian. I would hope that we would refuse hate. And I want to take this Gene Herschel Humanitarian Award and dedicate it to anyone who wants to stand in the middle no matter what's around the wall, stand in the middle, because that's where healing happens. That's where conversation happens. That's where change happens. It happens in the middle. So anyone who wants to meet me in the middle to refuse hate, to refuse blanket judgment, and to help lift someone's feet off the ground, this one is for you too. God bless you, and thank you, Academy. I appreciate it. Thank you.